How's it going guys? So today we're going to uh, adjust the valves on the Sato FG60 R3 that is in my top flight P47. Uh, and uh, so we're going to start by taking the prop off, take the cowling off, take the baffling off, and then we'll be able to get to the valve covers. So let's get started. Obviously this is number one cylinder. I've got actually got a temp gauge on the back side of it so I can keep track of the engine temperature. And uh, one thing I don't know if you I took the spark plugs out so that I could turn the engine over really easy. And just, this is a set screw for the crankshaft. When you line this up with this hole, this piston is top dead center. And so the number three over here, same thing. You're gonna go around and line it up. And you line it up on number two. And that's how we're gonna adjust them. So right now we're gonna set it on number one. Again, line these holes up. We're too tight. So this is the exhaust valve and it's actually really dry you guys can see that it does have a little bit of oil on this one side Let's see, here. Let's see it's pretty dry but there is oil right here on this side quite a bit of it but, uh, I think it's okay I haven't heard any squeaks out of this one Okay, this is a new cylinder that was sent from Horizon, my thinnest one, 0.38 millimeters. Alright, so we're going to watch these. Alright, so that's the exhaust stroke. Engine turns counterclockwise. Exhaust, intake, and then this one is the compression stroke. So that's it right there. All right, of course that fits. Let's see if Sato's limit gauge goes in. That'll tell us if it needs adjusting. Again, the engine is cold. And uh, so let's see here. Doesn't quite go in, it does go in. So that one is needs adjusting. And that one definitely needs adjusting. So. Let's adjust it.
little bit tighter. Just pulls on it just barely. And then we're going to tighten it down. That's all it needs. Get that back. I like to get the nuts a little bit snug so that this kind of stays where you leave it instead of it flopping around. Oops. Also, whenever you tighten down the nut, it uh, pulls that adjuster up with just a hair. See, that's a little too tight. So we're gonna back it off just a hair. Here we go, we tighten it down. There we go. That one is adjusted. That's number one. Next will be number three. This is number three cylinder, so we're going to turn this around and uh, we'll take the valve covers off and make sure we get there that it's a zero mirror top bit center. There's no movement in the valves, so we know that this pin all lines up with that mark. And as we move it, there is no limit gauge. Oh, it goes right in there. So it's time. That's a little tight, but it does go in. Doesn't matter which one you start with. Let's see here. Uh, See, you have a, a number three cylinder, and you can see how much oil is on that exhaust, which is good. There's the intake. So, we're going to check these guys. All right, so I want to move the flywheel around. You see, it closes, and then that was the intake. So the piston is now coming up, top dead center. Again, lining up the marks. We're good to go. So let's check them. Oh, it just goes right in there. It's got just enough drag on it. You can hear it.
Damn. I'll show you. Again, this is Sato's limits piece. See, it no longer fits in there. No longer fits. All right, now we can put the plugs back in and uh, we can uh, put everything back the way it was, uh, put the baffling back on, put the prop, and we'll take it outside and fire it up. All right, well, here we are back at where we started and everything's back together. So we're gonna take it outside and fire it up and see what she sounds like. All right, so for fuel, I'm using uh, 93 octane, uh, it's ethanol free, and I'm using Redline two-stroke racing oil uh, to a 20 to one ratio. It's 97, 98 degrees, 2300 RPM. So in closing this video, uh, engine runs good. Uh, some guys say that the FG60 is not enough for the top flight uh, P47. I think it's plenty. I fly this thing around uh, third to half throttle most of the time. Uh, you know, if you want to do a a, uh, a loop, you know, go ahead and give it all the beans. But uh, as far as rolls or any any maneuver, you know three-quarter throttle will do it uh, it's no but it's by no means an acrobatic airplane aerobatic airplane where it you know it can prop hang and all that but uh, it flies very well for what it is I really enjoy this plane uh, guys I want to say thank you for uh, watching this video and for more videos like this stay tuned